Hey everyone! Today I'm here to do a quick review on a product, not a wig. So that's kind of new, but I'm really excited to try out a new wig grip. And Leanne Thompson at Beauty Nook asked if I would do a review for this since it is a brand new product and she hadn't really seen any reviews out there and I'm always game to try something new. So I am here to tell you about a product called Wig Fix. That's the little plastic package it came in. And then you get this little card that shows you how to wear it. So Wig Fix is a wig grip, not a wig cap. And it's made out of silicone, I think. Um, it doesn't say that on here, but I'm pretty sure it's silicone. And it has these little nubs on it, and which kind of grip. And I'll take off this wig and I'll show it to you. And I have some notes on my impressions of this wig grip. So I'll be looking at my um, work phone because I've got my personal phone up on the stand right now to help me with those notes that I've been keeping. So I received the wig grip this weekend and today is Tuesday and I wore it on Saturday, on Sunday, yesterday and today. So I've been wearing this wig grip for four days in multiple conditions with multiple wigs. I may have some new takeaways over time, but since it is a brand new product, I wanted to try to uh, really you know, speed up the process. So for those of you who watch my videos, you know that I use It Stays to adhere all of my wigs. So here's a bottle of It Stays. I've used multiple brands, and I am an, an It Stays aficionado, maybe. Uh, I definitely like It Stays. I feel very secure with It Stays, and I've been using that pretty much since the beginning of my wig journey last September, so about nine and a half months or so. And I, you know, in the summertime though, It Stays isn't a, a great choice if it's going to be hot out because it is extremely water soluble. All you really need to do is take a wet washcloth and dab it on your um, hairline, on the lace if you're wearing a lace front wig, and it will loosen. Uh, and so if you get even just a little bit sweaty, it will loosen. I just recently did a video on tape to adhere my wig to show another alternative to it stays for really hot days where you know you're going to be getting sweaty, and that works great. And I have had many wig sisters comment that they have done that with tape swimming and it's held great. So I haven't tried that, but I've had enough people tell me that, that I would do it confidently. I don't really love the tape though. It's a little bit more cumbersome to use and it's a little more cumbersome to take off. You know, you have to use alcohol or some sort of adhesive remover instead of water. So um, wig grips on the other hand have their fans as well. I just don't really like them. I feel that they're a little bulky on my head and they make my wigs feel too tight. And I don't think that they hold us securely uh, and I'm using them correctly and so that isn't my preference and wig caps we won't even talk about wig caps I run hot anyway so I don't need another layer on my head and I honestly don't think that they hold very well on my head they like to shift and, and bunch up so I've tried all of those options I've landed on it stays as being the best option for me I do use wig grips with my headband wigs and my three-fourths wig when I'm going to wear a headband over it. And it, that, it seems to work fine then, just not with wet regular wigs. So now let's get to this product. So this product, Wig Fix, I've been wearing, like I said, for the last four days. And I have a list of pros and I have a list of cons. So first of all, the wig I have on right now is Alden by Aesthetica in the color Caramel Kiss. I have not reviewed Alden yet, and I really haven't worn her much except for to have her on for the last couple of hours today, just so I could test um, wig fix with a longer wig. So I've worn wig fix with a couple of my regular bob styles, um, and I thought, let me wear it with Alden because my experience with these longer wigs is they tend to slide back if I don't adhere them a little bit from the weight. And so I'm not going to really review Alden because I haven't really worn her, but I know you're going to ask in the comments, what wig did you have on? It's Alden. Um, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is how it disguises that you have a wig grip on. So when you wear a wig grip or a wig cap, you can usually see through the lace where that wig grip or that wig cap starts. For some of you, 
it's fine. You wear a light color, it's barely noticeable. Uh, so you're comfortable with that because you know nobody's gonna be looking at your hairline or at the, you know, the part that closely. Um, and you're probably also the people who a little bit of nodding doesn't give you heartburn. Uh, whereas, you know, there are a lot of wig sisters out there who are so hypersensitive about anything that could give your wig away. A little noticeable line that maybe nobody else can see but you <laughs> is enough to cause you anxiety. And I get it. I do understand. And so I'm just trying to make sure the focus stays good on here. I've got messages on my camera saying weird things. My phone. Um, anyway, so one nice thing about this is you do not see it. Now, Alden does have a line probably, I'm looking in my mirror, right about there, just on the, on the monofilament. But the wig grip is sitting up here. So the thing I really like about this is I do have bio hair up here, not a lot, but I do have a little bit of bio hair. That silicone wig grip kind of hides that. So if you could have seen a little bit of the line of my bio hair through here, you wouldn't be able to with this wig grip on. So that is an unexpected surprise. Now, I have such little hair up front that it's really not an issue for me, but if you have enough hair that sometimes you can see it, that could be a really positive about this wig grip. Um, I did notice when I wore it behind my hairline and I was really studying to see if you could see it, I could then see my hair, which I never could before. So when I pull it forward, it hid that hair which tells me, someone with more hair, this could be really good for you. So that's one thing I learned that is a pleasant surprise and is a, in the positive, in the pros column. Um, I would say another thing in the pros column is it's very secure. I tend to have trouble with wigs riding up on the nape of my neck, and I know a lot of you have that problem because I see it all the time in comments. How do you keep the wig from scooting up your neck? Do you, what adhesive do you use? I've never been able to um, handle that problem. I've tried the wig tape, I've tried it stays, and nothing really holds. I have quite a bit of hair on the back of my head, and so nothing has worked. Uh, I've just learned to live with it over time. You know, if I adhere my wigs here, I don't worry about them riding up so much in the back. So I've learned to live with it. I have noticed this prevents that. So this wig grip is going to keep your wig secure on the back of your head. At least for me, it's doing it. That's a huge benefit. Um, and it's been consistent. I wore it all day yesterday, I wore it today, I wore it on Sunday, and I didn't have any issues with any of those wigs. I wore it to the gym, we'll talk about that a little bit. So it's great. So if you are someone who has trouble with wigs riding up on the nape of your neck, I would try this wig grip, I really would. Um, another uh, great thing is it doesn't really move around. So one, I'll, I'll share with you some of my cons, and one of the cons impacted me at work today. So I took my wig off uh, mid, I was in this long kind of training all day when we had a break. I went to my office, closed the door, closed my blind. I took off my wig and I took the wig grip off and I put the wig back on. And I just didn't feel that wig was secure. It was secure. I was wearing my main attraction Broadway. It doesn't have a lace front. So even if it shifted a little with the bang, I didn't worry about it, but it definitely moved around on my head. That wig grip held it there nice and tight. So. I mean, that is a positive. It's gonna hold your wig, it holds my wig. I don't, I mean, if I pull on it really hard, it'll move, but just normal, going like this is not going to shift this wig with this wig grip on. This wig grip is gonna hold your wig. It holds mine, so huge positive. Um, so let me make sure that I've got kind of the pros. Super secure, I don't feel the need for it stays with this at all. You know, Alden has a lace front and the way it's holding it secure, that lace front is pressed into my forehead. I am not worried about it. But I did wear Girl Mono on yesterday. I wore Girl Mono and that Girl Mono I got from a wig sister and she had cut the lace. So that lace has, doesn't lay flat because it was cut, it's been worn, I think it's probably stretched out a little bit. So when I put that one on yesterday, I did feel the need to try to put just a tiny bit of it stays under the very front of the lace to try to make that lay flat. So keep that in mind. If you have lace that doesn't lay flat and you use it stays to help that, this wig grip may not solve that problem. But for, for lace that's tight to your head normally, 
it's go it's working great um, some of the cons so it is tight uh, not uncomfortable tight but I could see that some people might think it's uncomfortable tight if you're not used to wearing a wig grip this is gonna feel tight to you I powered through that tightness and after a while I got a little used to it but I could feel my wig all day long I could feel it it's it's squeezing my head it's not terrible but my wigs don't squeeze my head this way because I I just use it stays so for the most part I can forget that I have a wig on my head a lot of the time it just feels really light and this doesn't let that happen so it definitely does have a tightness factor but if you use wig grips this isn't going to be worse than that if anything it might be better than that because it's just not as thick it doesn't leave such a big thick bump around your head like a wig grip can the thick velvet so you know if you're used to having something around your head this is going to be great if you're not that could be a challenge and i'll talk a little bit about that um, in a minute um, it does hold in the heat a little bit not terrible and again if you already wear wig grips or wig uh, wig caps you're already dealing with that i did notice though that it did seem to not let the heat escape maybe because of that silicone and when i took it off the first day there was this relief like oh my head can breathe in that spot um so that is something to take into consideration um I was getting really hot in this meeting today. It didn't happen to me yesterday. I was in the same meeting in a different room all day and I was comfortable. Everybody else was complaining about being cold. So keep that in mind. Today I was really hot. I was like, am I having hot flashes? What's going on? I didn't experience that hotness after I went and took this off. So do with that what you will, but I think it does hold in the heat a little bit. I don't know if it's more than a wig grip does, my guess is probably if that's a cloth wig grip, there's some breathing going on. I don't think there's any breathing at all going on with this. Um, it leaves these red dots on my scalp and hopefully you'll be able to see that now. This isn't the wig I wore to work today, but I have had her on for about an hour and a half. So we'll see if those dots are there. When I first saw them this weekend, I thought I was having an allergic reaction. And it's happened ever since, but they go away really quickly and it does it, it's a little uncomfortable when I first take it off. Like, have you ever worn socks and they've kind of cut off your circulation a little bit on your calves? And so when you take them off, when that circulation is allowed to run free, it's kind of itchy and it burns a little bit. That's sort of like what happened here. It goes away really quickly, it doesn't last, the dots go away. So it's not an allergic reaction, I think it's a circulation thing. Um, so. That happened to me. I have a very sensitive scalp. My scalp is always bothering me. I've always had that. It's, I know it's the alopecia. So you might have a tough as nail scalp and that may not be a problem for you. Um, let's see, what else did I put in my notes? Um, so I've worn it with multiple wigs. I wore it to the gym last night with my headband wig and it was worked like a champ. It held like a champ. Um, I had no concerns about that at all. It wasn't uncomfortable. I got hot and sweaty. I mean, it was wet underneath when I took it off, but it wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, I would say it was equal to my a regular wig, wig grip in that case for me. Um, so that's been my experience. So let me show it to you. So, oh, one thing I want to show you. Did you just see that? I took this off and a lot of times when you see women take their, their um, wigs off in a video, the grip slips with it. This doesn't do that. I pulled it right off and this grip is where I put it. And so it's, it doesn't really move. I mean, it's, it's on there. It's on there. So that's a positive. So, and so let me see, I'm just trying not to pull my hair, which I'll tell you about in a second. That's another kind of con that you've got to be careful about. So let's see, do I have dots? I do. Can you see those? I'm really hopeful it's focusing, but see those dots? That happens every time I take the weight grip off. It leaves these dots and it does go away relatively quickly. It's this odd sense of relief when you take it off though. It's like, oh yeah, my head can breathe. Uh, so the wig grip looks like this and it's got these nubs on it, raised nubs on both sides. You can see a little bit of hair caught in there. I think it's probably my hair, but I lose hair easily. 
So another con is it can pull your hair a little bit. When I first put this on, I didn't think I was going to be able to wear it. I couldn't get it on without it like ripping all the hair off on the back of my head. Let me show you how I put this on to prevent that. So I get it around my neck. And the first thing I do is I lift it up and I lay it back here. I don't slide it up. I lift it up. And then I lift it up and get it where else it needs to be. Do not try to slide. Now I have hair stuck on my lips. Do not try to slide it up because it will pull your hair. It didn't pull my hair just now when I did it, but you got to lift it up and then gently lift it into place. And then now it's, it's good to go. When I try to lift it up to tuck my hair over here, it does kind of pull. So hopefully you can get it situated in one fell swoop. And then just take it off really gently. And I have a super sensitive head. I mean, like my whole life, you can't really brush tangles out of my hair because it just hurts my head. So I figured out how to do this so it doesn't hurt my head. So keep that in mind. Um, so my impressions, my overall takeaways of this, my full impressions. I am glad I have it. I will probably not wear it every day. I will probably stick with my it stays for the most part. When I can see myself wearing this though, is if I don't think it stays is going to work and I might choose this over the lace tape, depending on the situation. Um, if it's going to be a situation where I have a wig that rides up really terribly in the back, which I, I do have a few of those, I may choose to wear this because it sure is nice not to have to keep pulling your wig down and adjusting and I don't have to do that at all when this is on. That is wonderful. Um, you know, if I'm only going to wear a wig for a few hours, I might choose this so I don't have to deal with the it stays and having to, you know, take it off. Um, so that's something that I, so I, I can see many, many instances where I will wear this. And so I think it's worth recommending for sure. There's cons, like with everything. There's trade-offs, like with everything. Um, so I think it'll wash up really nicely. And so for those of you who already wear something underneath your wigs, I think it's worth trying. There are absolutely circumstances where this is going to be perfect. And so I give it a thumbs up with caveats. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you have questions. Um, you know, if I, if I discover anything new about this, I will definitely do another video and I'll let you guys all know. But other than that, I'm really grateful to have a chance to try this because I think the more products we have in our arsenal, the better for us and everybody's different. Everything works differently for people. So the more people who have something that works for them, the better. Um, so that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Oh, and you can purchase this from Leanne Thompson at The Beauty Nook. So there is a Beauty Nook Facebook page. I think she is trying to uh, put a website together, but that's not available yet. So you can get it on Facebook. You can also message her on Instagram. She does have an Instagram account. And I will link both of those in the description so that you can easily get a hold of her if you're interested in trying these. Because I think that she gets them from overseas. They're not available here in the US. And so she has some in stock right now. So anyway, see you guys later. Thanks a lot.